All right, I'm making another video. Okay? You listen with your earphone. Okay. All right, live from LimeMesita.com. Who's LimeMesita and Think Buzzle Branding? Let me get this proper. Okay. Uh, today, I, what's the date? The date is uh, 10th October 2017. Time right now is 9.55 in the night. Let me drink. Like, and this is one of the benefits you can get when you're in Thailand. You want, baby? No? No? Okay. So, sorry. Um, today, uh, I got the question from one of my Quora users. And I thought I'd make it a video. The question is, Lloyd, what advice would you give to a young girl or your daughter? So what advice would I give my daughter or to young girls? Fine. These are the 10 pieces of advice, 5, 10, 10 pieces of advice I would give my daughter. So in no particular order, these are the 10 things. Number one, first thing I tell my daughter or any girl is never trust any man. Never ever trust any man. You just cannot trust any man. The reason being is most of the women, uh, most of the men, they look at women as objects of sex. That's a no-brainer. They look at girls as an object of sex. And you can't help it because men are visual. They'll always be checking out the girl's body, her butt, her boobs, her uh, uh, shape. They are just that way. And, um, you know, remember this. If a man is nice to you as a woman, there's always a hidden agenda. There's always something he wants. Man, uh, there's no man on this planet who's just nice to you for no reason at all. Unless, of course, he's your father. Unless, of course, he is your relative and he really cares of you like a daughter. But if he drinks alcohol, that's a different story. Don't trust him. I speak to so many girls whose their own father kind of molests them. Uh, I've spoken to girls whose own father has tried to rape them and who have been raped. So, bottom line, don't trust any man. Um, girls. Don't even trust me. No, I'm sorry. Don't trust him. No, maybe it's okay. No problem. Um, the second one is, remember this much, it's a man's world. The whole thing is a man's world. Men, they have this, I don't know, most of the men have this male-dominated ego. That is why you'll always see men who always like to dominate the top positions. You'll see men in the Eastern cultures. They believe man is superior. You even have the Bible, the Quran, and all these holy books that say man should be the priest and man should be the head of the house. And, you know, in some Muslim books, they even tell you how to beat your wife. So uh, even in the uh, Old Testament of the Bible, it's if a girl gets a period, she's not clean and all that bullshit. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a man's world. It's very unfair. They are very ungrateful. They are very unequal. Okay. So girls, you'll have to fight for your rights to succeed and survive and by fight I mean not violence don't resort to violence but use your head your heart use your human spirit to get things done okay because remember this you shout and scream nothing's gonna happen use tact and use strategy first point never trust a man second point is it's a man's world so you got to fight it out the third one is you as a woman you'll always be expected to sacrifice more do more give more everything more it's like it's never enough uh, your standards will always be if you're up here, they'll expect much more if you're up here They'll expect much more. So it's pretty unfair But this is how it is girls will always be asked to do more and more and give more so choose your roles wisely and please uh, draw a line draw a You know draw a threshold and tell them listen stop expecting much more even if it's your husband your brother anybody your father Just because you let's say you cook in the house. Let's say you're cooking and you're helping them let them know that it's not a daily chore. You know, maybe you have other things to do. Just because, let's say, you help in cleaning up the house, that doesn't mean you're a maid. So please uh, remember this. You'll always be asked to sacrifice more and do more. Draw the line, draw the boundaries. Then, point number four. Once you give your body to a man, 50% of that value is totally gone. Because a man, when he's nice to you, sweet to you, sugar-coated, he'll be touching you. I can't live without you, breathe. He just wants sex, okay? So once you give him that sex, the satisfaction, 50% of the value is gone. He got what he wanted. Then he'll start showing his true colors, okay? So please be understand this much that a man wants you for sex, okay? And um, so ask yourself, if, if I give him everything that he wants, why should he stick with me? So have that question up in your mind. Point number five is if a man wants you, he will do anything in the world to get you but once you know once he decides he doesn't want you 
Nothing in the world will convince him otherwise. So keep that in mind. Men who give you excuses like, oh, I can't marry you because my mother and father's wish and my dying wish, oh, society, what they'll say. That's all bullshit because he, he got everything that he wanted from you. Got the sex, got the love, got the affection. Now he got a replacement. So he's throwing you out and that's a very polite way. So keep this in mind. Then point number six is once you give birth to a child, you'll get pregnant. The man will not get pregnant. Okay, you'll get pregnant if you have sex. So keep this in mind. And once you give birth to a child, your life will change forever. You'll never be the same woman because your body will be cut. It's being ripped open. It's being torn. It, it'll be damaged. So please keep this in mind. Point number seven is use your emotions, your feelings, you know, uh, your thoughts, your body, your beauty, whatever you have, whatever you have to succeed in life. Remember this much limits. You choose, you decide whether you want to sleep with someone, whether you want to get a sugar daddy, whether you want to be a prostitute, whether you want to just have fun. It's your life. You do whatever you want. But remember this. If a man sleeps with 10 girls, oh, that's cool. If a girl sleeps with more than one guy, she is considered a loose charactered woman. So it's very unfair. So you choose how to play the game. Use your feelings, emotions, thoughts, body, beauty, brains, everything for your advantage. Okay. Point number eight. The only best friend you will have on this planet, the only best friend is your mother and father because they give birth to you, they took care of you, they spend money, they invested time, effort, emotions, everything. Uh, nobody else, okay? And whatever the advice they have for you may not necessarily be the right thing because they'll say, oh, get married to this boy, he's supposed to be good or choose this career. So even though they have good intentions, their strategy may not be right. So even though like I, I tell you that love them and uh, you know let them always be there for you, but, you know, sensible choices, logical choices, you know, maybe they're old fashioned. You need to really make this. But remember, when you're choosing love, emotions, feelings, be careful on that. Uh, point number nine, whatever compliments and wonderful words your family gives you, whatever uh, they give you is useless. It's no use because in the real world, your father might say, oh, my daughter is so special. She's so talented. She's so gifted. In the real world, nobody gives a damn. They consider you normal like everyone else. Only thing is, if you go for the interview first, they'll be checking you out and saying, oh, is she beautiful? Is she attractive? And that gives you more points. So keep that in mind. Please, you know, keep yourself healthy, smart, sharp, always. Point number 10 is you are not special. Please keep that in mind. You're not special because everyone assumes that they're special. Uh, you only become special if you work hard, give hard work, dedication, discipline and obsession to one goal and whomsoever tells you that you're special, uh, he has some hidden agenda. So please keep that in mind. Okay. So these are the 10 pieces of advice. Just if I were to summarize it, never trust any man. Second one, it's a man's world. It's very unfair. Number three is uh, you'll be expected to sacrifice more, draw the line. Point number four is once you give your body to a man, 50% of the value is gone. Point number five is if a man wants you, he'll do whatever he, he can to get you if he doesn't want you he'll give you all the excuses point number six is once you give birth to a child your life changes forever remember you have sex with a man you get pregnant the girl you know um, girl gets pregnant boy never gets pregnant point number seven use your feelings emotions thought body beauty everything that you have to achieve your goal society will judge you anyway so you do what you want point number eight is the only best friend that you have is your mother and father uh, however the you know, advice that they give you may not necessarily help you. Point number nine, whatever wonderful compliments your family gives you, just ignore it. Point number 10, don't think you're special because in the real world, only hard work, dedication, discipline on obsession to one goal helps you. So if I had a daughter, these are the 10 pieces of advice I'd give you. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is Lloyd Macedo from LloydMacedo.com. Who's Lloyd Macedo? Thank you for My wife is still listening to the program. She doesn't know what's happening. Funny. Okay. Ciao. Take care.